This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Peter Au with me. Uh, you've got so many hats on. I was saying earlier, I don't know where one stops and one starts, but today we're going to talk about the Paddle Fest that's going on, and it is uh, uh, presented by the Rideau Roundtable, which you are the president of, the Rideau Roundtable, yes. and you are the chair of Rideau Paddle Fest this year. Right. Yeah, actually, uh, we have been lucky to have somebody else uh, helping with me. Uh, but this year being COVID and so on, uh, and, and my former co-chair have retired. <laughs> and uh, another co-chair has moved away from the uh, from Smith Falls. So no, but it's still nice to have a, a group of people working together. Well, and uh, Pedal Fest is basically uh, a very strongly Smith Falls event. Really? How many years has it been going on? Uh, this has happened since 2015. But, you know, with COVID, uh, we, we took three years almost like absence of that. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And it's such a fun event, too. You know, there's so much going on in the park and there's so much learning going on. But the activities, too, is, is just a, it's a great day. So let's talk a little bit about what the day looks like. Right. Well, this is a, a special year because uh, it used to be uh, the only thing that uh, costs money in Pedalfest is uh, if you want to join a, a racing team. But this year, we actually remove uh, any sort of charges for, for the racing and uh, so that more people can participate. And uh, you can register online, but uh, then we'll contact you with the procedure and so on and so forth. And also, this year, in order to make things easier, we actually have reduced the number of people required for our team from 15 to 10. Oh my, okay. that's a lot of work. That's a lot more work though. <laughs> right. A lot more uh, fun. And, and, uh, yeah, the, we were, we're actually scheduling something like 45 minutes between races. So if you have not done any sort of Voyager can do before, you can still come down, uh, learn how to move the canoe, and then as a team together, do some practice before the actual racing. And uh, depending on how many teams we have, we may just use the, your time as the record to determine who is the winning team. Oh, instead of it actually so, being so that, a race. Right. Okay. Right. So, so this is new this year, right? And um, also, uh, we have quite a, quite a bit of events connected with the uh, Voyager Canoe. Uh, for example, around noontime, we have the Voyager Canoe Tug of War. Now, when we think of Tug of War, usually it's a, a group joining people together and pool. Uh, but this one here is uh, slightly different. In fact, uh, the, the Tug of War is designed for people who have even not been on a Voyager Canoe before because we'll give you some time, teach you how to move the canoe, uh, do some practice, and then get you back. But this time, uh, the, the people are going to be divided into two facing opposite sides. And then when you're ready, <laughs> you're going to be paddling against each other on wow. the same boat. Oh, on the same you boat. Be safe. Oh, <laughs> you okay. Be uh, safe. Here I'm thinking yeah. you've got, you're going to tie two boats together, but you're in the same boat. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun, yeah. That's going to be and a lot as of fun. Well, we, we are having three Voyager Canoe Rye. Uh, from lower reach to the basin uh, so that people can visit the powwow, which takes place the same Saturday. They also extended the event to Sunday. Now, of course, this is a, a very uh, beautiful event in terms of dances and so on. So people from powwow can also take that opportunity down to visit the pedal fest. And uh, then we will have... Uh, uh, Voyager canoe events. We also have other on the water events, as well as the other uh, exhibitors which focus on culture, nature, and heritage. Example for heritage, we will have our Heritage House Museum and Friends of the Rideau. Well, of course, you want to know about the history of Smith Falls Heritage House Museum, it's a place. Now, not only that you can visit there, they actually will be having 
uh, some outdoor activities, games, and so on. And they are going to be even baking special the sugar paddles for you to try. <laughs> and of course, they also will have some Victorian games, both at the outdoors of the museum and also in uh, Paddle Fest. The other heritage uh, partner is uh, provided from Friends of the Rido. Now, they are the authority on Rido. Uh, if you want to come to tour the Rido, uh, the best thing is go on the web, info uh, .rido, and uh, loads of information in terms of nature and culture. We have uh, the um, Canadian uh, Museum of Nature coming in and the chief scientist on fish will be on, on duty to share the knowledge of what uh, all that we have in the canal, particularly around Smith Falls. Yeah. And uh, also Parks Canada is, is coming in. Now they have a new program called Learn to Camp, as well as Learn to Paddle. So these are new. Uh, Thousand Island National Park also will be coming. They are specializing in species at risk and uh, also reptiles and amphibians. And of course, uh, Murphy's Point Provincial Park, uh, which is famous for its micro mine, as well as the black red snake. Uh, hopefully we have a visit from them and then you, know, you, you can learn a lot more about that. So those are some of the ones. And this year uh, we have in particular um, exhibits that are focused on climate change. For example, the round table actually is doing uh, an experiment with the town of Smith Falls. We are turning the green waste in the town's composting site into biochar. Let me explain. Uh, we know that when plants grow, uh, photosynthesis uh, have to use the carbon dioxide in the air and turn it into vegetation. When the plants decay, uh, the carbon dioxide is released back to the atmosphere. So it's neutral. However, when you uh, take the green waste, uh, heat it in the absence of oxygen, you can actually change all that into carbon, charcoal. And the charcoal then can be kept in the ground. So this way, we can actually reduce the number of parts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere beyond net zero, really get it down. And furthermore, when you get the biochar, mix it with uh, mushrooms, compost, and so on, you can actually make it into a very nutrient-rich growth medium. So in other words, if we can make that process happen in farms, they can turn their farm waste into fertilizer and further capture more of the uh, carbon and in, oh. increase the amount of food. No fertilizers, less chemical, right. less pollution. Right. So right. It's, it's really one of the ways that we can uh, uh, fight climate change and reduce the amount of carbon dioxide. And these are the sort of things we're going to learn on Saturday at Paddle Fest as well, right. too. We're going to yeah. have some and, fun. And, and we're also, gonna... very excitingly, too, uh, a Japanese botanist found that uh, when you grow trees together, particularly native trees, you can actually uh, reduce the amount of time for the forest to become a mature forest from 150 years down to 20 years. And you can increase the biodiversity 40 times. And uh, so this this method is called the uh, Mayawaki method, but uh, a group in Kingston actually do that. They actually uh, created three little forests using this method. And uh, they, they have, uh, and, and actually they will be here sharing their experience. Excellent. So it, it's going to be amazing uh, that we now have means that each of us can use to fight climate change. 
Yeah, so right. those things are exciting. Yes, they are. Absolutely, absolutely. And for anybody right. who wants to learn more, they can show up to Paddle Fest. Now, that's June 11th. June 11th. June the 11th. And you say there's, Saturday, there's, yeah. there's no charge. People just show up. Right. It's a free yeah. educational it's a day. A lot of goodies. Also, uh, two other things. One is totally new. We are going to have a night parade, night paddling parade. I don't know whether I can share with you one picture. Let's see. I noticed that you're having a night parade. That's something new. That's going to be out on the water? Yes. In yeah. fact, uh, I, uh, Bill Dales have been having to organize it, and he actually uh, went to take a picture with some lights on his kayaks. And it's beautiful. Oh, that's going to be nice. We will be we will be starting that uh, night parade uh, at not at eight thirty. So there's lots of sunlight, mm -hmm. and then uh, finish up by nine thirty. And folks around Queen Street, uh, if you look at the Lower Ridge Park, you will see light starting. Right now, so people can join in with their kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards. We also will be offering the, the large Voyager canoes for people who don't have the equipment, but you can experience that. Right, okay. right. And yep. uh, for photographers, this is a good chance to take photos. Talking about photography, we actually have a photo contest. People can take pictures from Petal Fest, submit that within a week on our, on our website. We will have information of how to do that on, on Battlefest. And then they they be judged by seven uh, uh, photographer judging, That's including right. professionals and so on, yeah. And uh, so it's, it's going to uh, be able to provide some good memory, good pictures to share with friends and so on. This is actually a fun event an event that people can uh, take part in and uh, be also be ambassadors for Smith Falls to other visitors. Right, absolutely, absolutely. We look forward to it, especially, you know, you've been two years without having to have this event, so we look forward to seeing it back on again. So again, it's on Saturday, June 11th. What time right. does it start at, Mr. Al? It starts at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Right. And it sounds like and, it goes uh, to like 9.30 at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. It actually, it goes from 10 to 4, then we take a break. Uh, then they, we will have uh, music from 1 o'clock on to 4. And then around 8.30, we'll have music again to get people on to the uh, night parade. Right. Yeah. And uh, so it, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Excellent. Now, Excellent. Uh, for, for all those events that involve the Voyager you can do, we do need people to sign waiver forms. Right. And for people who are under the age of uh, 18, we actually need the parental signature. So if you're interested, you can download the uh, waiver form uh, on our website and uh, have the signatures ready to bring it in and so on. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Well, we look forward to it. And we thank you very much for joining us again this, uh, this week on FYI. And thank you very much for everything you do for our community, no matter what hat you're wearing, Mr. Ao. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always nice to have uh, uh, a lot of people working together. That's yeah. right. And, uh, it, Smith Falls is a wonderful place. There's a lot of champions. And in fact, uh, hopefully these sort of events will have to build more and more ambassadors and uh, increase uh, citizen pride and so on. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, and maybe, okay. maybe if, uh, if there's a chance, maybe uh, we can have the poster of the... Uh, Pedal fest on so people can can take a look absolutely we do we'll do that yeah okay sure. great thank, thank you, you so much thanks for joining us